So we're here at the vegetarian house in San Jose and they have this nice outdoor seating area. You can see, uh, I think they recently added this. Uh, so we're gonna order the beef stroganoff, mm -hmm. the sushi. basil quinoa fries, mm -hmm. and the quinoa sushi. So what you do is you go to the seating area, you sit down and then you scan this barcode to order. And then once the food comes out and is ready, you can go pick it up from that window over there and go back to your seat and eat it. So we finally got our food. If you can see here, it's basil fries, quinoa sushi, stroganoff, and two utensils. Ooh. What is this one? Stroganoff. Stroganoff. Butter. Oh yeah, have the butter. I bread. think they give you a little, yeah, a little piece of bread. Sushi. And then got the sushi. Utensils. And utensils. And then a fry. Oh wow, look at those basil fries. They look really good. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a lot of them too. Wow. So here we have the basil fries which are very good. They're crispy on the outside but the, it's like a thin crispy. And then here's the quinoa sushi. And here's the final dish we got which is the beef stroganoff. It's in a big bowl. Uh, it's all a lot of food. Yum. Have bread too. Well the beef stroganoff is very addicting. It has a great texture and also has a lot of umami flavor. And the uh, fries is so super crispy and crunchy and light almost, even though it's fried. So there's Claire eating the beef stroganoff. Amazingly good. Wow, all the dishes here are super addicting. The textures are great. The, the saltiness is great. And even the beef stroganoff, even though it looks very rich and heavy, it's actually very light because it's vegan. The top ones. What about the matcha matcha? I do. We got the ruby black milk tea with whole milk and boba. So we just finished drinking the Dr. Ink ruby black tea. Mm -hmm. And so what does uh, Claire think of this? Typical drink you can get anywhere. It's tea. not really special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tea was pretty like watered down and uh, the flavor wasn't really there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Even the boba wasn't that good because the boba inside wasn't like fully cooked inside, so it was kind of like chewy. And, uh, but it was chewy, but then it wasn't like soft throughout the, the boba. It was like a little bit uh, flowery almost in the middle. So, I don't know, I'll probably give it like a 3.5 out of 5. 2.8. Two, okay, Claire thinks it's a 2.8. So there you have it. That's the Dr. Ink boba. It's um, a tea place near San Pedro Square in downtown San Jose. Mm, but nice to hang out. It's like the decorations mm -hmm. was uh, look nice, mm -hmm. but the drink just typical. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs>